today's video i'm going to give solution for the most important problem from complex integration now i'm going to evaluate integral 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 3 x square plus 5 y plus i times of x square minus y square into dz along the curve y square is equal to x see here as you know that z is nothing but x plus i into y so what will be dz derivative with respect to x that is dx plus i times of this is dy so here in this place i am going to substitute dx minus i times of dy and it is also given along the curve y square is equal to see y square is equal to x then y is equal to this is root x and dy value is equal to what is dy 1 by this is 2 root x into dx 2 root x into dx so what is the integral given so integral is nothing but integral that is 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 this is 3 x square plus 5 y plus i times of this is x square minus y square of dz so if i substitute all these so if i transform this in terms of x that is 3x square plus y times of what is y here so y is nothing but root x plus i times of this is x square what is y square y square is equal to x into see here dz can be written as dx plus i into dy so this is dx plus i into dy see this will be 3x square plus 5 root x so this is 5 root x plus i times of this is x square minus x this is dx plus i times of what is dy dy is equal to this is 1 by this is 2 root x into dx into dx so this will be integral 3x square plus 5 root x plus i times of this is x square minus x into this is 1 plus i times of 2 root x into dx. So, if I multiply this one, see what happens if I multiply, this will be 3x square, 3x square into 1, if I multiply, this will be i times of this is 3x square by 2 root x and Still, if I multiply with this, this will be 5 root x. This will be 5 root x. If I multiply with this, this will be i times of this is 5 root x by 2 root x. If I multiply, this will be i into x square minus i into x. i into i, this is i square. It is minus. This will be x square by 2 root x. And see, this will be i square this is minus minus of minus this is plus x by this is 2 root x into this value is dx see if i take this i common so this will be 3x square this is 5 root x and this is i this is i here so this will be minus x square by 2 root x plus x by this is 2 root x plus i times of this is i times of so this will be 3 by 2 x square by root x so this is i 5 root x by 2 root x this is x square minus x into dx so this is the real part and this is the imaginary part see if i cancel all these if i cancel and simplify then what happens here so this will be integral this is 3x square this is 5 power half this will be this will be minus 1 by 2 times of 2 minus half and this value will be half times of x power 1 minus half plus this value is i times of 3 by 2 x power 2 minus half plus this is 5 by 2 if i cancel this one for one time and this is x square minus x into dx and see this will be integral 3x square 
plus 5 power half minus half times of this is 4 minus 1. So this value is 3 by 2 plus this is half times of this is plus half plus i times of this is 3 by 2 x power 4 minus 1 this is 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2 this is x square minus x of dx. So between the limits is 0 to 1. So here I transformed in terms of x. So the x limits are from 0 to 1. So if I integrate this will be 3x cubed by 3 plus 5 times of this is half plus 1 plus half plus 1 minus half times of this is 3 by 2. This is 3 by 2 plus 1 by 3 by 2 plus 1 plus half times of x bar half plus 1 plus half plus 1 plus i times of. See here i times of this value will be 3 by 2 x bar 3 by 2 plus 1 by 3 by 2 plus 1 plus 5 by 2 times of x. This value is x cubed by 3 minus x square by 2 between the limits. This is 0 to 1 and this is 0 to 1. See, if I cancel this one, so this will be 1 plus 5 by. So, in place of x, if I substitute 1 here, so this will be half plus 1. So, this value is 3 by 2 minus half times of this value is again 5 by 2 plus half times of this value is again 3 by 2 plus i times of this is 3 by 2. If we keep the upper limit as 1, so this will be 5 by 2 plus 5 by 2 plus this is 1 by 2 minus half. So this will be 1 plus 5 into 2 by 3 minus this is half times of 2 by 5 plus half times of again 2 by 3 plus i times of this is 3 by 2 so this will be 2 by 5 plus 5 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 so this value will be 1 plus this is 10 by 3 so if i cancel this is 1 by 5 so if i cancel this one this is 1 by 3 plus i times of see here so, if I cancel this one, this will be 3 by 5 plus 5 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2. And now, and now see what happens here. So, this is 3 and this is 3 LCM. So, this is 10 plus 1, 11. 1 minus 1 by 5 plus 11 by 3 plus i times of. So, this is 2 and this is 2. So, this will be 5 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 4 by 2 which is equal to 2. So, which is equal to 2. Now, this value will become. So, this will become. So, if I take the LCM as 15. So, this will be 15 minus 3. So, 5 times this is a 55 plus i times of. So, this value is 3 by 5 plus 1 by 3 plus 2. So, this is a 15 minus 3 plus 55 by 15 plus i times of. If I take again 15 as LCM. So, this is 3. 3, 3 is a 9 plus 5 plus this value is 30. And see, so this will be 70. 70 minus 3 by 15 plus i times of this is 35. 44 by 15. So, this value is a 67 by 15 plus i times of 44 by 15. So, if I take 15 as LCM, this is a 67 plus 44i. So, the value here is, so we got the answer as for the integral. Therefore, for the integral, so which integral it is? 0, 0. So, for the integral 0, 0 to 1 comma 1. This is 3x square plus 5y plus i times of x square minus y square of dz along, see here, along y is equal to x square, see, y square is equal to x is 64 by 15 
plus i times of 44 by 15. So this is how we have to solve and see once again I am explaining you the question here is so simple. So first it is given to evaluate this one. So as you know that z is equal to x plus i y dz will be dx plus i times of dy. So the curve is given as y square is equal to x. So y will be root x. So dy will be 1 by 2 root x into dx. So after transforming all the y's in terms of x and dy in terms of x. So the limits here will be. So the x limits are from 0 to 1. So here I transformed in terms of x and the limits will be. 0 to 1. So, after calculating and substituting the limit, so this is all a simple process. So, after calculating, so if you don't understand, go through this video for one more time. And we got the final answer as a 64 plus 44i by 15. And this is how we have to solve. Thank you so much for staying till the end. And I will be uploading many more problems related to this series. If you really like, please pass it on to your friends and subscribe.